Teardown time. This is a motion sensing uh, light. It's supposed to turn on when you approach it, which is great for security. Uh, what caught my eye about this one is it uses the word radar sensor, which is quite unusual. Usually bulbs like this use a passive infrared sensor. So let's see how true this radar sensor is. Let's see if it's actually in this bulb. Let's uh, tear it down and see what we can see. Uh, first up, uh, let's get the spectrum analyzer out and see if this thing's actually emitting any radio frequency waves. Okay, what we have here is an amplifier and this is the bulb. And as I move the uh, bulb towards and away from the uh, antenna, of course, the amplitude increases and decreases. And you can see it reaches its, its biggest point when it's pointing straight this way. But also if I rotate the bulb this way and this way, you can see the amplitude goes up and down. And what that implies to me is that it's a fairly, fairly simple uh, antenna structure, just one stripe basically pushing out uh, RF energy uh, polarized in one plane and of course only going in one direction. So, and that's really all of course you would need. Uh, and it's confirmation that indeed this thing is actually producing RF energy as well. So obviously the next step is to tear it apart and see what we have. So I just took the top off and uh, there's a single circuit board. Uh, interestingly enough, actually, the wires just go straight down to the base, so the uh, 120 volts goes directly onto the assembly. Uh, there's obviously an array of LEDs going around the perimeter, and there's obviously a lot of components in the insides here, and there's some components in the back here, and there's no way we can analyze it at this sort of uh, distance. So I'm going to start to insert some macro photography, and uh, we're going to color enhance the circuit board to uh, tease out the trace colors. Let's see if we can sort this down. Okay, well here's a circuit board. I've taken photographs of the top and the bottom and combined them into a single photo so we see all the parts onto it. Uh, the largest integrated circuit is marked as a BIS-01. It's uh, known as a Micropower PIR Motion Detector IC. Now PIR stands for Passive Infrared and of course this bulb is uh, the exact opposite. Uh, it's using a radar it claims, not a passive uh, infrared. And of course there is no passive infrared circuit uh, on the assembly. Uh, however, uh, it does allow us to easily then start down the inputs to the bulb. There's a couple of differential inputs. You look at the block diagram, and uh, if I probe those out, uh, they do seem to go to the antenna structure that's on the bulb. So let's uh, see if uh, we can get a signal out of that antenna and uh, see if indeed it actually is sensing uh, motion. So here's the bulb upside down, and I've uh, wired into the uh, inputs of the PIR chip, the output of the radar detector battery powered oscilloscope because we have this um, dangerous ground going on. This is a non-isolated design and sometimes the easiest way to uh, measure these safely is just to go to a battery operated instrument so you don't have to uh, fuss around with your grounds. And if I move it around, see if it goes up or down, it actually starts detecting the motion. So uh, it's exactly what we'd expect from a, a radar detector. So it does produce a, a quite a usable signal. I suspect it's quite hackable actually if you want to use this for some other purpose. Um, you can uh, detect speed of uh, the motion with the, uh, the sensor output. Well, indeed, the circuit does seem to be working, but there doesn't seem to be enough parts to be a radar detector. If we sort of zoom into it, we can see an antenna structure, a handful of discretes, and two active components. Um, this must be a very clever design, because if I pull up the block diagram of how you dish traditionally build a radar, uh, you have a high-frequency RF uh, generator, then you split that signal into two. Uh, one goes out to a transmit antenna, the other one goes into a mixer, and then what happens when the return signal comes back, uh, it gets mixed together, and there's an identity of signs which basically says that if you take those two frequencies and uh, combine them, or multiply them, you end up with a very slow frequency uh, out, and uh, of course that's the motion, you can low pass filter it and uh, off to go. Um, but it really doesn't seem like there's enough uh, circuitry there to create such a fascinating uh, function. So. Uh, if you look closely at the antenna, you can see the power does appear to probably come into the middle of it. Uh, that pres presumes that one side's RX and the other side's TX. But uh, I must say, I don't quite understand how they achieved a mixer uh, with uh, what appears to be no components. So if there's any radar experts out there, I wouldn't mind a shout. So um, a lot of cleverness going on, of course, from low-cost electronics. And somebody's figured out a circuit here with uh, just a handful of components. Oh, this is kind of a neat bulb then. Uh, one other thing I found, I didn't uh, quite understand the listing, but this bulb only works when it's dark. Uh, there's actually a light sensor on it, and uh, if you try looking at the motion detection while you have the room lights on, it doesn't work, and that sent me around for quite a while to figure out whether or not the bulb was broken, but as soon as you turn the lights off, the sensor, of course, then tells the uh, main integrated circuit to uh, start looking for that uh, signal coming back from the radar. Uh, in terms of other construction details, uh, pretty sketchy in terms of safety, I suspect. Uh, 120 volts going directly onto the assembly. It runs through an inductor there. There's no common mode noise choke, so of course that's not so good because this bulb 
undoubtedly, of course, generates uh, inf uh, signals that would be pushed back in the power line. Uh, not sure if the creepage distances are respected. It goes right into a uh, full wave bridge rectifier, then into a chip called uh, Hot Chips, um, which I presume produces two voltages, one that's for the actual LED array, and then the other one going on to power up that PIR uh, and radar sensor. So there we go. That is indeed a radar sensing uh, LED light bulb. As always, uh, some uh, detailed photographs on my blog, electronupdate.blogspot.com. Uh, it's only a two-sided circuit board, I suspect, so it should be fairly easy to uh, trace down the topology uh, if you want to figure out more about how that radar detector is working. And if you sort it out, give me a shout. Uh, I must admit I am a bit baffled how you can achieve such a interesting function with so few parts.